It's the Man Cave Clan. Sandman Craft uh, out of Berlin, Germany. Cool. There's three guys that started this company uh, in 21, and they're really kicking out some really beautiful boots. And uh, we have here, there's one of their featured boots, and this is called the Globemaster. Yeah, it's cowhide, oak tan leather sole. What's your thoughts on, on these? Man, it's uh, a. <laughs> Help me out here. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm on it. These are cool boots, Paul. Uh, Sandman Craft. I remember when um, Boot Hunter first kind of broke the news. I remember like the day that like people like this this new uh, this new brand kind of seemingly came out of nowhere. Yeah. And and like before, like it was like the day we were hearing about it. Like Boot Hunter like already had a pair. So that was yeah. my first kind of like hearing about these boots. And I was yeah back in 2021. I remember people were like, how do we get these? Like. Who speaks German? And uh, <laughs> but but you were the first person I know personally who actually has a pair, and in my first hands-on experience. Um, and yeah, I really like this boot, man. Lace to toe boots are super cool. Um, this one's actually a two seventy, so the, where that stitch stops, right? So stopping right there is two seventy. If it went all right. the way around three sixty, but that's the quick way. Yeah, to it's tell. it's a relatively small company out of Germany, and. You know, as far as I know, it was started by three three guys, uh, according to their website. Of course, I had to use you know Google Translate because their whole their website's in German uh, to read some of their <laughs> literature. <laughs> but um, I, I just love their boots. I mean, and the fit is incredible. They they fit me perfectly. Uh, it's a relatively narrow last, uh -huh. which is good for me. I mean, I'm a 9D. Uh, it's a European size, so it translates to a 42 for me, um, and as far as I know, you cannot order directly on their website okay. from the US. You, you have to email them and they send you a PayPal invoice. Okay. You pay the invoice and they ship it to you. Cool, yeah, it seems, yeah. seems easy enough. Yeah, it's very um, easy. It's I very, think you very, know, a lot of the people in this community were used to like ordering stuff through uh, from Indonesia or China, like just purely through like DM on Instagram. So I mean, that doesn't scare me one bit. Yeah. Having to <laughs> having to just pay a PayPal invoice and get some some German boots in the mail. The Globemaster has the uh, the mini lug sole. Yeah, mini lug sole. The half soles are nice. I like half soles because they they help. Uh, I think with a little more flexibility in the boot. Yeah, you don't have that full rubber sole. And then also my favorite is that heel stack is unbroken. You don't have that black line. Right. running through that heel stack of leather so you just see leather until you get to the heel cap right um i like the welt too so the welt's a a pre-stitched split reverse welt and you can tell that so that you have that uh that's the sole stitch that goes through right. but that white stitch that looks like it's going that way right it's actually faux so uh, alden does that a lot and it comes mm. it just comes pre-stitched it looks like that and you can tell us a uh, split reverse welt from a storm welt because that top edge is raw it's just cut right. where storm well it's like smoother it's rounded over yeah so it's a, it's just a, it's a cool look man i like that touch definitely it has a little bit of that like, I, I norwegian think, stitch look and, yeah that little extra strip of leather um i think it adds to the aesthetic of the boot absolutely too. i love yeah. the like the like tritone going on with the brown of the yeah the the, the, the veg tan leather this really cool gray gray is such like a yeah this is in color now this color is a military green and gray um so yeah so i picked up a, these are the glow masters and i also picked up a, a couple of weeks ago a pair of these skyliners which has the the ripple ripple sole and they actually call this a sneaker boot cool on their website so um, it, it's very light and it's super comfortable. It's really just like wearing a pair of sneakers, but I feel like it's a little bit better than sneakers because you have this a little sturdier sole to absorb the impact. If you walk in an urban environment, which you know most people do, yeah. like parking lots and s sidewalks and concrete, you know I think this is a little better foot choice for your for comfort level. Yeah, it's a super cool boot, man. Uh, when, when you passed me these, I was the first 
like when, I think you had just gotten them. Yeah. And I was over here and I was like, whoa, dude, they're, they're like, like where, where is it? You know, it's this weird <laughs> optical illusion. It's like I, I can see I'm holding something, but I don't feel it. In my yeah. Hand. It really is light. And I think, I mean, a few reasons. This this is a light soul. Mm-hmm. This is not a super dense, like, Christy um, material. It's pretty light, even, right. though it, even though it is, it's probably a Vibram. Um, maybe just, like, rebranded. But uh, one what? of the reasons why this is a lighter boot and a really good choice right, right now for summer is mm-hmm. it's unlined. It's right. pretty thin. I mean, this is, like... Right. Like a three ounce and it's unlined. Where this one is actually lined. Those are fully lined. Right. And so you have, you know, you have layers of leather and you have the glue in between and all that, all that stuff helps to right. insulate it. Sure. What insulating is good when it's cold. But, but it, it doesn't, doesn't breathe as much. It doesn't breathe it out when right. it's hot, when your foot's sweating, right? So this is a exactly. super breathable, super lightweight, yeah. good summer boot. It's way, it's definitely more flexible yeah. than that because you have a little bit less you only have a single midsole. You got a double midsole on this. You got right. well one midsole, two midsole. There's only a welt and a single midsole. So this is like for sure a sneaker boot, but it just has a cool pattern. I mean, it has that like lace to toe pattern like that. It's a little bit more of a monkey boot, whereas you know the vamp uh, these two kind of flop over like this. Mm-hmm. The vamp in the quarters and the monkey boot has more of that like kind of bowling shoe look, right? So this that's more of a lace toe. This is more of a monkey boot. Right. It's got kind of like a faux, like, roofer, um, like, lineman patch on the outside there. Right, and, right. Um, right. Man, it's just, it's just a really unique boot. I can't think of anything on the market that that this is trying to be like, right? right. Whereas, like, I mean, lots of people make lace to toes. That's a really cool boot. Not taking anything away from it. Yeah, me. it's a very unique pattern. I mean, they, they are made in Spain okay. um, and sold through their company in Germany. And it's it's and it's an interesting company too. Cause it's like every month or two they come out with different iterations of their the, their patterns mm-hmm. using different leather, mm-hmm. um, and uh, you know I I I highly recommend if if you guys are liking the look of this boot, is to give them a try. You know, um, reach out to them, send them an email, and you know, and the price point is good. It's about three hundred dollars. So it's comparable to like a Red Wing? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, I'd say, I think a Red Wing doesn't offer anything, anything kind of near that as right. in terms of like, uh, like kind of like wow factor. Yeah. So if you guys are looking for a nice boot, a nice boot jam, uh, Sandman Craft out of uh, Berlin, Germany, highly recommend a pair of these boots. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you next time. It's the name of